All smiles here with Giggly Chickity. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whatever time it may be. Welcome to my channel. So, I wanted to, for my channel, there's like things when you don't know how to do certain things on a PC, you want to have someone to help you. So, there's things I'm going to be doing on my channel to help and make people laugh. So, with this, for instance, the Today I'm talking about the um, Elgato HD60 Pro. I want to show you how to install that with your PCIe 16. The ones that everybody, let me put this away. The ones that everybody are showing are the four. Everybody has a four. Now I just got this PC and mine had both 16. And if you are that person with both 16, you're trying to figure out if it's going to fit in there. Your answer is yes, it will fit in a 16 and a 4. Um, so when you insert that, this is what your, your Elgato looks like. It has this part sticking out. And the end part right here is your input and your output. So what you want to do is flip it around so your input and your output is on the outside of the PC and not towards the inside. And you see this part right here? This is your PCIe and this is the clip. So when you have the clip right here, you want to make sure that it's pushed inward so that when you install it, that you can just clip that back in towards you and have this set up. So let me show you the video that I made and I'm going to talk over it so you guys will understand what's going on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your computer is turned off because you don't want to get like <laughs> You're like, now I want, uh, what's your emergency? I just got electrocuted for installing a part for my PC. So make sure this is turned off. Unplug that and make sure it's fully turned off. Then you're going to make sure that you unscrew these little parts on your PC. They hold your fiberglass on so you can see how cool everything looks. I think that's just so cool. Um, after you do that, make sure you lay it on something flat. You don't want to lay it on something hard to scratch it because you don't want to have any scratches on it. So before you unscrew this part right here, you're going to want to get a screwdriver. I had to take mine out because I want to show you guys completely on how to do it. So you take your screwdriver and you just see these little parts down here. I'm going to zoom in a second. You're going to unscrew those to where you want your Elgato to go. So if you want it up here, you can put it up there. If you want it down there, um, put it down there. But you want to make sure it's aligned with your PCIe. Okay? So after you unscrew these, there's a slot part. Let me see if I have it right here. This is also on the side down here. See me? Okay, this part is also on the back part, which is beside the parts where you put your HDMI. You want to un unscrew those. You're also going to have little slots that are on the slide on the side that you can just pull out. So after you take these screws out, see, I'm taking mine out because I want to show y'all how I am I'm going to install this so you can install it properly too. It's actually really easy. So after I take this out, you see how that slips goes when you push it in, it's like a, a clip, it clips it in. So when you first get it, it's going to look like that. That's your PCIe 16. Okay. And then you're going to flip it around. You're going to see the in and the out towards your, um, your power. So that's where you're going to slide it in. See these two little, um, I don't know what these are called, but these parts go into your PCIe. And it just slips right in there very easily. You want to get it as close to the, um, the in and the out part on the outside as possible because it's just going to slide in really 
easily, really easily. After you do that, you're going to want to clip that little part that I've been talking about, push it inward, and then hold that while you have your screws. So make sure your screws are beside you so that you can just go ahead and slide that right in. You don't need your screwdriver yet. You go ahead and put the top one in and then you can put the bottom in or you can vice versa put the bottom in and then put the top in and then you have it installed it's so easy it's so easy my son could do it so when you put when you go ahead and put everything in you're going to want to make sure that it's installed right so before you put your fiberglass back on and you do all of that, make sure you can turn on your PC. And then after you do that, I'm going to show you. Okay, so when it is plugged in, you're going to make sure your in is for your Xbox, for your HDMI, and your out connects to your monitor. And after you do that you are going to go to video capture device you're going to want to name this name this xbox or whatever you want to name it or keep it the same it's up to you and you'll see the game capture here you'll see the elgato but i use the number one because the number one looks the best and there it is there's my xbox I don't want to delete this and then if you don't want to do it on OBS you can go to elgato.com or elgato you can type in elgato downloads and the Windows game capture will pop up and the Microsoft game capture will pop up you can download those then when you have that downloaded you pull up your game capture and you're going to go to your settings and you can see Xbox all your devices are going to be here in your input device and then your um, your audio input is your HDMI or your line in whatever you prefer and it's as simple as that but make sure that you check it before you put everything on because it's annoying putting everything on and then it's not in there right and then blah 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 so if you have any questions comment me i will come at me come back comment back to you real mm -hmm. quick uh, uh, uh. and if you want to um follow me on instagram you can i make videos all the time about xbox red Dead, whatever I'm going to be making more videos about the Elgato because my sound isn't really that good and I'm working on it. So I want to show you guys what I do about the sound and how game chat, um, party chat, whatever. So comment me if you have any questions. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.